The exorbitant costs associated with cross-border money transfers have imposed additional burdens on those most dependent on them, the migrant workers. They are being charged an additional cost, having to make remittances to their home countries. Fintech startup Mama Money has found a way of closing that gap and ensuring that the costs of taking care of your family back home are minimized. The founder of Mama Money is Rafael Gronowski, who joins us to find out, to tell us exactly how the technology works. And uh, Raphael, pleasure to talk to you Tim, and uh, have you with us great here. Great to on be the on show. the show. Thank you so much. Right. Um, there, there are different services that are being provided. And that's one question I asked, actually. I said, so what's different with uh, Mama Money from Western Union and others who are there? Very good. So obviously, there is competition out there, but Mama Money is quite different in many ways. Number one, we are by far the most low cost operator in, in South Africa. Mm. So you can think. Our competition charges from 10% and upwards, and we charge a flat fee of 5%. Uh -huh. Another thing that we don't do is we don't charge a markup on the exchange rate, which means the preferential rate that we get from our bank, we pass on one-to-one -to, -one to our customer. So you might be charged 10 or 12% by someone else, but you are charged another 2, 3, sometimes 4% on mm -hmm. the exchange rate. Mm -hmm. So we consider that a hidden cost, so we don't do that. We only charge a flat fee of 5%. But these are established companies that I'm talking about, right? And they've been doing this for a, for a long, long time. How are you able to reduce the costs in your case and make sure that the money is delivered safely the other side? Cool. So Mama Money, also a little bit different to other companies, we're not set up to make money off remittances. So we are run as a social business. We are founded specifically to help the migrant community send money home at a lower cost. And the reason this is such a big problem is if it costs so much to send money home, not as much money arrives in the pockets of the people who really mm, need them. Mm. And you see, these money transfers that people send home every month, they're used, for example, to buy basic food, pay for education, pay for housing, pay for medicine. So it's really important that as much money arrives as possible. So we started out as a social business specifically to help bring the costs down. And the easiest way to do that is just by not being so greedy. I understand that. But there must be certain things that you are, and you've used the word greedy. Are you suggesting that, well, you've said it, that they are greedy? I did say it. And I think it's a big social problem to try to maximize profit on low income earners. You see, the most people who send money home, they earn maybe 5,000 Rand a month. Mm. And 2,000 Rand they send home. So we try to make sure that as much money arrives at home as possible because the high cost of money transfer from South Africa to the rest of Africa is a big social problem. And the interesting thing is South Africa actually has the highest money transfer fees in the world. No highest? Highest in the I world. Mean, when you say highest, uh, what, is, what is the number? So on average, the global cost is about 6 to 7 percent. South Africa has about 12, 13, 14 percent average. So we're coming in at our 5 percent. We're definitely making a big wave in the market. But, but why is South Africa the highest uh, costs, ha having the highest costs in the market compared to the other uh, nations around the world? It's a, it's a mixture of, of, of factors. Number one, the, there isn't a lot of competition in the market. So like now, because of new regulations, there is more competition coming in. And we were lucky to approach the South African Reserve Bank at a really good time to say, hey, we are Mama Money, we are a social business, we want to help people, we want to do good in the community, we want to help lower the cost, and at the same time provide a really good and reliable product. They gave us our license, and we've been operating for about a year. And since that year, we've been quite happy We've signed up over 30,000 customers already in the first year. And, and, and where do you operate from for customers to access you? So we started out in Cape Town, but we have our agents who are now in Johannesburg, in Pretoria, and in Durban. And you can now go to any pep store across the country to register. All you need is your ID. You register, and from then on, you're on your database, on your system, and that's it. And all you do is to make those remittances on over and over again. It's actually, yeah, it's really, really simple. Another but, reason why we are so low in cost is yeah. because we've made it really simple. We've taken out all the things that are really not relevant for money transfer. So you go into PEP, you register with your ID, and then you transact on your phone. So you can do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can do it from wherever once you've you can registered. Do it, you you just, can do it right here sitting on the As couch. long as you're registered and then yes. you're on. Now, let's talk about the technology behind it. And of course, I suppose anybody who sends money anywhere will be concerned about the security features of the system. You know, what if the money disappears and what's the comeback if money is not delivered to whoever it's intended for? Yes. Well, the license that we have from the South African Reserve Bank is not easy to get. So we are fully authorized to do money transfer and we have a lot of security features in place. So it took us about a year and a half to build the technology and we're happy to say we've never lost anyone's money yet. 
Okay, but but just uh, explain to those who don't do it or don't use it yes. but may want to use it. How does it work, actually? Okay, so you can use Momo Money on any type of phone. So you can use it on what we like to call a simple phone or more like an advanced phone. So you can go to our website, momomoney.coza, or dial our free USSD string. And then you say, I want to send money to my mom. Mm. Most people actually send to their mom. Yeah. That's why we're called Mama Money, because yes. money goes home that way. Yeah. And then you say, I want to send, let's say, a thousand rand. And we say, great, this is the exchange rate. And then they say, great. You can either make a deposit into one of our bank accounts or you can go to any one of our retail partners and deposit the money in cash. So you can go to like a ShopRite, a Checkers, a Pick and Pay, anywhere, deposit the money in cash, and as soon as the money is deposited, your recipient in Zimbabwe will get the money on their phone immediately. Okay. And where do people get in touch if they want to find out more or sign up? I know they can go to PEP, but you know, yes. background check is always important where money is involved. Yes. So we have around 300 agents across the country. They can visit any one of them to get more information. But I would say the best way to get information is Facebook these days. So you go to our Facebook page. We have two people. All they do is just answer people on Facebook. We can call you. Um, go to our website, mamamoney.coza, and all the information is there. In South Africa, you don't operate, right? It's not remittances within country because you can use the local systems, yeah. I suppose. You can. Yeah. So sending money in South Africa is very, very low cost, and we wanted to provide the same kind of low cost yes. service for sending money out of South Africa to Zimbabwe. Okay, so it's like an e-wallet of sorts across border. Correct. Mama Mani is uh, founder, Raphael, much appreciated. Thank you very much for talking to us and explaining to us how Mama Money works. And you say that address once again? It's uh, mamamoney.co.za. Thank you very much. Tim, great to be here. Thank much you so much. Much appreciated. Well, it doesn't have to be that expensive anymore for you if you're sending money across the borders. Use Mama Money. It's a new concept, relatively new that is, and they're easy to use and the costs are very low from what we gather. If you have used it, we'd like to hear from you. Tell us what you think, what the experience has been like, and you can do so via Twitter at Tim Modise or write to us at Tonight with Tim Modise. Mm -hmm.